and we're going to talk to people who aren't vegan but love dogs. The circle of life. The circle of life. So you're actually using the Lion King as a scientific source here. I care about why you two people, who are good people, yeah. still pay for animals to be stabbed and killed when you're against it. So what would you choose when you leave? I will try my best to become a vegan. Really? <laughs> Most people are against animal cruelty. Our morals are pretty much the same on animal but cruelty. Your definition of animal cruelty is different. You, Everyone's you, definition of things are different. But you agreed that this is cruel. You sat there and agreed it's on tape. You agreed this is cruel. So Brandon, yeah. you read the sign? Yes, I did read the sign, yes. Animal lovers who aren't vegan are hypocrites? Yeah, heard that, heard that sign, yeah. yeah do, do, you, do you disagree with the sign? Can, I do, I do, yeah. Can I extend my argument so you know yeah, the full scope yeah, of it? All good. And then you can debate it from there. But yeah. People love dogs for a reason. Yep. They have their own personalities, they're sentient, they don't want to you know, be harmed. And if anyone hurts a dog and a dog lover finds out about it, yeah. they want to kill this person. Yeah. Like I've seen the threads on dog yeah, abuse yeah. videos. Of course, yeah. But then they go home, they open up the fridge, they pull a steak out and they chuck it on the barbecue. That animal was enslaved, had their children taken from them, and was shot in the skull and had their head cut off in a slaughterhouse. I'm saying that that makes them a moral hypocrite. Do you agree or disagree with that? Because these animals that they um, do this to, inherently, in all the ways that matter, like sentience and all the things I described to you, how are you, the same. How do you test sentience, though? Um, we, you can te scientists can test consciousness, you mean? Is that what you mean? Yeah, do the, do yeah. it has, has, is it scientific that yeah. animals are sentient? I wouldn't say it's scientific. Like it's, I think even today, they can't really describe sentient. Like even to us, we, we know we're conscious but we don't understand that something else is conscious. Like, uh, okay, do I know that you're conscious? Not really. Okay. You can't, you can't be inside my head. You can't see what I'm seeing right now. Okay, so what do I do? Do I give you the benefit of the doubt? Yeah, I would say, yeah. So you I, do, I don't enslave doubt, you yeah. and kill you because no, you can't course, prove yeah. to me that you're of conscious. Course. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 100%, yeah. Okay. Yeah, 100%. Do you, do you love so plants? So do you think, do you, one sec, do yeah, you think yeah. that the animals now are conscious or do we give them the benefit of the doubt that they're conscious? Yeah, we give them the benefit of the doubt, yeah. Because they, they obviously avoid, they chase their babies when their babies get taken. They yeah, avoid instinct, yeah, instinct. Well, what would be your instinct if you got a stunner put to the back of your neck? You know, they get scared and they remember abuse. Animals and remember abuse. Yeah. Because no, they, they yeah. dogs remember abuse. Yeah, yeah, you learn yeah, you learn things, adapt, yeah. So we're gonna talk about whether or not I care about plants, like carrots and stuff yeah. like that. But no, that's you laugh because yeah, no, it's no, a no. joke. Yeah, no, I, got you. I think it's a joke too. Yeah. But do you agree that dog lovers who love dogs, who are happy to go don't touch that dog, that's animal cruelty. Go home and yeah. eat animal cruelty, are, are moral hypocrites. Do you agree with the sign first? I don't know, I don't think so, no. Okay, so why aren't they a hypocrite? Do you know what hypocrite means, yeah? Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. You say something, but you... Do another thing. Do another thing, yeah, no, I understand what you're saying, yeah. Um, why do I think it? Why do I think it? Um, obviously, I know what you're going to say about humanely killing. Obviously, like, it's killing. I understand, I understand well, what you Well, put yourself in the animal's about. position and then ask me the question. Of course, but naturally with the top of the food chain would you agree or not so well well no I, I don't know what this food chain is i mean i've seen it yeah but i mean in what respect do you think you're an apex predator well natural we don't really what do you have mean any, by food we don't chain? have any naturally predators so you know we'll just symbol you know you've got the lion the gazelle the gazelle eats the grass that type of food chain so you mean like a chain of eating or you mean yes, like yeah, that like a chain of eating yeah okay so a chain of eating can be me eating carrots or me eating tofu, that's a food chain? Or do you mean yeah. you're the apex predator at the top of the food chain yeah, and everyone humans, else? Yeah. I see humans, at the, we don't have any natural, you wouldn't say we have any natural common predators. It depends on what environment I put you in. Yeah, of course, but animals also use you know, technology and things. Obviously we have guns and stuff like that, so you might say that's not naturally the top of the food chain. But other animals also use tools, like birds can use sticks to do things and kill things and other things. So they're using tools as well. They're just doing what they can to be their top of the food chain. Okay, so you use the food chain argument to a dog lover and say, well, I'm gonna shoot your dog they, in the head they, and kill them and eat them because I'm top of the food chain, so therefore, morality doesn't exist for anyone outside of us. They're not in our food chain though. Why not? Choice. And it is. Why not? You either use the food chain for, for all animals or, or we, we just... Don't, we don't need it though. It doesn't, don't, they don't need to you don't be in need our this. food chain. You, they don't need to be in our food chain either, same argument. How does it not make you a hypocrite to pick and choose which animals matter and which don't? It doesn't make a hypocrite, it's just choice. No, but if, you, if you're using the food chain argument, apex predator yeah. though, we can do whatever we want to others below us because they're animals and we're humans, right? Which is a human supremacy mindset. Now, 
why do we say, well, don't do it to dogs, though? Oh, don't do it to dolphins, though. Yeah. Oh, in Japan, they were hunting whales. Don't do it to whales, though. Yeah. Uh, but uh, do it to cows, ch pigs, chickens, no worries. But don't hurt my dog. Yeah, I get you. I would say it's, it's about a personal connection. You care about more your family than you do just meeting me as a stranger. But I don't want your rights taken no, away from no, you. And I don't that. want you to be murdered and raped. I'd defend you, too, I, yes, if you were no, a stranger. But you care for more for your family than me. 100%. I'm yeah, picking my brother over no, you. Of course, that's what but, I mean. I, I mean. don't want you to be enslaved, though. No. And if someone did... You don't, I'd, yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd stop it, dude. If someone yeah. come up and bashed you right yeah. now, I'd jump in. But what did they ever do to you? Just because no, of your nothing, friend? Nothing, yes. No, nothing. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. I'm just saying with a dog, with the, particularly the dog, we obviously get more of a personal connection to a dog no. than I do a cow. That's false. Even a stranger's dog. You seen someone kicking a stranger's dog, you're not jumping in? No, but that's what I'm saying. A dog, dog, you would, you would. Dogs in general, we have more of a personal connection. Like, I've had cows, I've had sheep, I've had chickens. I, not that I didn't get any personal connection, but I get much more personal connection from even a stranger's dog than I do my own cows and stuff. So your morality is dictated by your personal connection, not by what's right and wrong? Everyone's is. Everyone's got their own experiences. That's not true. Yeah. That's not true, because I might necessarily not like Jerry over here. I don't want his rights taken away from him and to have his head cut off and then eat his body and go, apex predator, I don't have a personal connection with Jerry. I quite like Jerry, by the way, but I'm just saying, you can't use that argument no. to justify anything that's again, immoral. he's not in your food chain. Why not? Because oh, he's a human. Because it's unnecessary. If, if you give... What about muffin? A dog isn't in a lion's food chain, but if you put it in front of it and it's got no other gazelles or food or whatever it's in its natural, it's going to eat that. Okay. So we don't need to eat humans. We don't need to eat uh, cows either. Cool. So your argument's contradicting itself. Do you, do you see you fell over in your own words there? Are we an animal? Yes. A lion's an animal. It doesn't choose... You're comparing your moral framework to a lion's moral framework? In a yeah, we're, we're animals okay. with a bit of a higher IQ. That's all we are. Okay. We're, not, we're nothing special. Okay. We're, just, we're just an animal with a higher IQ. But you have, society has morals they adhere to, yeah? You have morals you adhere to. Yeah. There's certain yeah. things you won't yeah. do. And you won't go and do whatever you want and go, well, lions do it. No, no, of okay. course so not. So we're no. different to lions that we have, we're morally higher culpable. IQ, we're, yeah, we've got, our IQ maybe gives us morals. We have, we are morally culp are held morally culpable for our actions with our conscience and with laws. Okay? Yeah. Now, this is legal animal abuse and slavery, okay? So I know that legality and morality are separate, separate things. Separate, completely separate, yeah. 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 So, so I'm saying, like, how do you use a lion's behaviour to justify what we do to animals when, like you said, we have other things to eat? But you're saying we, we can't eat any animals. That's pretty much what you're, you're coming at, yes. We don't need to. You're not in a survival situation. You ain't no apex predator Why? in the ocean. Why are we fit to eat meat, though? You can also eat shit doesn't mean that we so should. You get sick from shit. You get sick from meat. I've never gotten sick from meat. But that's not the argument here. I'm saying it's immoral to eat meat. Just because you can do something doesn't mean well, that it's does, okay. Where does morals come from? It comes from us. Yeah, and if I think it's okay to eat meat, then my morals are okay to eat meat. So that's my morals. But I would say that you're abusing those animals and then you you're against animals. That's abuse. your morals. No, it's not. It's actually everyone's morals. Because are but, you... Well, are you, well let me ask you. more people eat meat than a vegan. So that's most the majority is on my side of... No, they're, no, they're not. Okay. Then why do they eat meat? Because I'll ask you this question. Do you think the majority of people are against animal abuse? Yes. Abuse. Are you? Abuse. Are you? Yes. Are you? Against animal abuse, yes. Okay. What do you define as abuse? Unnecessarily harming with no other gain. So if I were to go gain from that abuse, it would be justified? I wouldn't call it abuse. It's for a reason. A reason? Yes. Well, shouldn't it be for a justification? Justifying could, is to put on that resource to someone's to, for, for them to live. I'm saying that if you abuse someone, for what reason are we? Do, okay, well let's just look through this. I'm saying this is abuse, by the way. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. Okay, this is abuse. What we do to animals in a slaughterhouse is abuse. I'm, I'm, I'm arguing that, and if you don't agree with that, then I, I don't know if you have. Is eyes. this cow alive or dead? Well, they've. They've, they're murdering a dairy cow because she doesn't produce milk anymore. This is just it's a... Legally, though, they have to shoot it in the head. It has to be they did. dead before. They did. Oh, okay. So that, well, that twitching was like nerves and stuff. Stunning doesn't always work because they've got thick skulls. What can I say? Yeah, but, that I disagree with then because it's, it's okay. going through pain. I don't, really, I don't think they should go through pain. This is a farrowing shed. This is uh, yep. standard practice in Australia. You're getting your pork. These piglets come from a farrowing shed. Yep. Very normal to have dead piglets in a farrowing shed. Ask any farmer. This is blunt force trauma. They smack their head on the ground if they don't grow uh, large enough. And you can look up all these standards. Mm -hmm. uh, they exist here. This is where they get put on a truck. And they get put in a gas chamber here. This was uh, heralded by the yeah. RSPCA as the most humane method for stunning. Mm. Yeah, see, I don't agree with this stuff because there's other methods that are more humane. Okay. So I don't agree with the laws put in place. I agree with... 
Okay, so that you I'm allowed with what to, you I support. can eat. You disagree with what you support? No, I said it's fine to eat meat, but I disagree with the way they kill them. But you buy meat from these places. Yeah, but I never chose them to be shot like that. If I could, obviously... I'm telling you, you that, that doesn't matter. Yeah. I don't care if you chose or didn't choose. I'm telling you right now, this is where your meat comes from. And I, if there's other ways, then... Well, th that's a hypothetical. Exactly. I'm saying that you're paying for this right now. And that's the only choice right now. If you give me another choice, if you, I you will. kill it humanely... <laughs> but you give me another choice to eat meat humanely, then I, no, I will. No, no, that's not the art. That. You're still an animal abuser. Listen, if you can be a vegan right now, or you can choose to abuse animals. So you're saying if everyone went vegan right now, you think it's sustainable for the earth? You think that's the a land population... A, that's a hypothetical. Well, that's what you want. Right. Would, if you right now, you could click a button and go, everyone's vegan... We couldn't do that. It? But would you choose it? If yeah. we, okay, well let's just say we click the button, yeah. everyone's vegan, the animal agriculture industry doesn't exist anymore, all those yeah. animals disappear. 100%. You choose they that. all disappear? Yeah. yeah. You choose that? Yeah, they all disappear. So you think with a land mass to feed the whole population yeah. with just, just oh. that? Oh, 100% and more. 1,000%. <laughs> Let me explain to you. Okay, that's fine, yeah. There's currently 7 billion human beings on Earth. Yeah. And there's 74 billion land animals that they're feeding to kill yeah. for human consumption. Yes. Now what are those land animals eating? But what caloric density? No, no, answer me. So yeah, of course, plants. Yeah, they're, okay. Yeah. So they're growing food for seventy. Can we eat seven, grass? Seven, eighty-one billion sentient beings how, right now. Can we One, eat grass? Well, they're not only fed grass; they're fed grain. Most of the soy is yes, fed to but animals. A lot of it's grass. We can't eat grass. That doesn't mean the vast okay, majority can, of we can eat that. So let me f let you finish your point. So yeah. what's your point? No, no, no yeah, it was just, that was that was it. Just grass. We can't eat grass. They're, you're saying what they? Yes, I understand they eat grain, but they also eat a lot of grass. That doesn't mean okay. If they can't, we'll eat the grass. We can't eat the grass. Okay. So your argument is that a small portion of what, or, or a large portion, do you think they all eat grass? Let me just... I would eat, they eat a lot of lay grass. Well, cows eat a lot. The grass-fed cows eat grass, yes. yeah? Yeah. They're grain-finished, and most, I would argue that most cattle, they don't actually grass-feed. They, f they feed in feedlots, okay? But these chickens, what are they eating? Grass in the shed? Yeah, no, they're, they're eating grain, no, of what course. What are they eating, yeah. grain? Grain, yeah. And what are the pigs eating in those sheds? Grass? No, no, gra okay. in, in sheds, no, they would okay. eat, yeah. Okay. Of course. So I'm saying that most animals are fed... What? What are most animals fed? Like, like I know grass and grain. I disagree with you. Most animals that, that we kill on land are chickens, and it's using land. It's using sheds. We we grow. But to grow that grain, it it's uses using land. Lots of land. Well, I would say lots of land. If so every single argument, animal. Your argument is we can't all be vegan because there's not enough land. I'm saying we're already growing saying. enough food. Yeah, we can't all be vegan and we can't all be meat. I would say I'm not nothing no, against no, no, vegan. No, let me let me. I don't yeah. think you're following here. Okay. We're already growing enough food to feed 80 billion sentient beings. If we abolish animal agriculture, delete 74 billion from that equation, we've only got 7 billion people to feed. Are we not going to be able to feed those 7 billion when we're already feeding us now, plants? Caloric density, though. If, if we all ate plants, everyone, how much plants do we need each every, every day to grow? Can you answer that question? About, depends on your size, but between two and 3,000 calories. And But how much more? Would you agree that meat is more caloric dense than... The plants. What? The nuts. Then plants. No. Then plants. Not all plants. We're not all eating just nuts. No, we're not. Plants. But you're not all eating just meat either. So that's a, that's no. a non-argument. But but you agree that we, it's we more eat a balanced plant-based diet. But you okay. agree it's more calorically dense meat than depends carrots and how, cabbage or all or how, most or, most or 100 plants. Grams, 100 grams of steak compared to a can of chickpeas. Yeah, but 100 grams of steak is this big. 100 grams of chickpeas is how much? Space. Uh, about this big. So that's 100 grams. No, a can of chickpeas is probably about uh, 240 grams. Be you agree, in a smaller area, okay. chicken, that's how much chicken with a certain amount of calories, the equivalent is much larger for plants. When, you, when, eat you, a eat a, more. when you eat a piece of chicken, yes. you're also eating everything that chicken ate, okay? So think about that, you're, you're missing that out. You're consuming everything that chicken ate too. You're responsible for all of those crops. So when you eat a piece of chicken, it's magnitudes more crops than just eating the, the grain. So I don't know what you're trying to say. Like I eat two to 3,000, 4,000 calories a day. It's just plants, okay? It's what these animals are being fed anyway, but magnitudes more if you're feeding it to the animals and then eating the flesh. I'm saying it's a much more efficient use of, of our food if we just eat the food directly than feed it to 70 billion animals. And I don't know how you could disagree with that mathematically. It's just easy, simple things. I don't know how you can disagree I don't think with it's that. It's as simple as you would put it. There's not that many vegans as there is meat eaters to prove that that works on a, a world scale. You're not eating any plants right now? No, yeah, I'm eating some plants. Okay. But I'm also so eating how many, how many things. I'm saying how much of your calories is plants and how much of it is meat? I would say, I would say at least 70% is probably from meat. You eat 70% meat? Yeah. Oh, okay, I feel sorry for your bowels.
but most, most uh, 70 percent of your calories are coming from meat yeah, not not the calories yeah okay. i would say calories yes okay i used to eat like that too yeah but anyway so you'd have to increase your calories by 70 percent of just plants yes. and how many how many plants do you think those animals are being fed so you can have all that meat i wouldn't exactly know but it's, do you think it's a lot? We don't have to. Yeah, I would say it's a lot. I know the food chain. Ten percent of your energy goes on. I get that whole thing. Of course, you have to use energy, okay. so you feed them. I get, I get that it's system. More efficient to just eat the plants directly. <laughs> Come on. Do our enjoyment gets any benefit though? Would that's, do you live to enjoy or do you live to survive? That's a different argument. Okay. Now, this is about I want, I want to talk about. You, you're saying this Holocaust is justified because we couldn't possibly feed seven billion people plants. That was your argument. Part of it, yeah. I do believe we can't feed 7 billion people in just plants if we just click the button and everyone was vegan now. Okay, well that's a hypothetical that won't happen in yeah. reality. Yeah, but I course, said yeah. even if it did happen, we were already feeding 7 billion people plants. Okay, and we're feeding 74 billion animals plants. <laughs> Come on, it's, it's very all simple. All those plants can't be eaten by humans. Not all of them, because I just proved to you the vast majority of animals are eating grain. So you were saying most of our diet should just be grain? That's not what I said, we should eat a balanced diet. But, but most of them are eating grain, so let's say we take them out of the equation, we've just got a shitload of grain and we're just eating grain now. No, that's not what I said, that's absolutely ridiculous. So we have a balanced diet. It's, but what's we, the problem? We only get the grain. If, if they only take them out of the equation, we just get the grain back. We don't get... We obviously grow, we use that land to grow the yeah. food we need, not the food the animals need. We're not just going to go, okay, click your fingers, animals disappear, let's eat all their food. We're so going to we, start growing our own crops. So we're using more land now. No, we're not. We're gonna we're gonna reuse that land. The land already exists, bro. You think we have to just keep that land for grain? No, we take that grain away. We we let rewilding happen. You know, we we put let forests grow back there. You know, because they, they've deforested that land, haven't they? To grow crops. Yeah, of course. Most yeah, yeah. deforestation yeah. in the Amazon happens 100%. to grow crops to feed to you. Do you think though? No, 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 no. You, sorry. Yeah, no, go on. To feed yeah. to your animals. Yeah. Yeah. So, those. Would you, would you say an issue though is also population growth as well? Like in, inevitably. We've got a finite amount of resources on Earth. Would you say we the do. population, no matter what we eat, plants, meat, I reckon eventually okay. it's yep. going to be too much. Well, so listen. Shouldn't we, shouldn't we more control the population so we can eat the things and enjoy food? No. No? no. I don't think that. You, we're we're going to inevitably listen. run out with food anyway. 75% of the world's land, uh, farmland is used to feed to the animals we eat. Yep. Okay, do you understand that? I okay, that, yeah. so if we stop feeding 74 billion land animals to eat, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. We're going to have 75% extra land to feed humans to um, leave space for population growth. Mm -hmm. well, how, many, how long do you think it's going to take to reach 74 billion people? We're, we've already billion people. We've already got that in animals that we're feeding to eat steak. It's ridiculous. Now, I think that that doesn't justify a holocaust of animals. It's, it mathematically doesn't work. I don't think you're getting it. No, I'm understanding you. I'm understanding. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you, you, okay. So you, 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 you agree that we can sustain seven billion people on plants? Do they want to though? Okay, that's another argument. But do you agree that we can sustain seven billion people on plant-based diet? I don't think. I think the mass can't be done properly until we actually give it a go. Until everyone actually went vegan, and I don't think. It still would work. That's what I'm saying. You well, don't. You can mathematically do I it. I disagree with you. Might be wrong. That's disagree, disagree with you. That's I disagree opinion. with you. It's ridiculous. We've already got. We've already got like 75 percent of the world's farmland is used to grow crops for animals. We can. We've got plenty of room for growing crops for humans. I mean, just mathematically doesn't work. But that's okay. We can leave that yeah, point because no, no, we disagree on that. Yeah, 100 percent. Yeah, yeah, we we disagree on that. Yeah. Now, I'm saying that dog lovers are hypocrites, right? Yeah. Because they're paying for this. These pigs. Sentient, intelligent, just like dogs, even more intelligent than dogs. They want to live, they suffer, they feel pain. Dog lovers, you heard a dog, they cry bloody murder, they eat these animals every single day, pay for the abuse of these animals. Um, how does that person justify this when they can easily be a vegan? How do they justify this, dude? Right now, this is, I'm telling you, this is very standard. In I Australia, I just don't. Think, well, your morals are different to everyone else's, so they don't have to justify. It's not. It's not in their justification. That's not in my justification. Yeah, but my my, I'm telling you, they're a hypocrite because they are. They do care about animal cruelty. That's why. Because if they don't care about animal but cruelty, they're then they're just in their morals. Animal cruelty is different to your animal cruelty. Your animal cruelty is any end result that can not at all in their death. My animal. You saying this is an animal cruelty? No, I'm saying this is animal cruelty. Okay, well then, well, then we're in agreement. Yes, they're pain. We're in agreement that they're pain. I don't think the end result, though, is animal cruelty. Cutting a lion killing a gazelle, is that animal cruelty? 
<laughs> you brought the lions. We already discussed yes. the lions and we destroyed that argument. Did you can't use we can't use a lion's behaviour to justify anything in in a moral society. Now, if I cut Muffin's head off right now, would that be animal cruelty? You don't need to cut her off. No, yes, no, no. Yes, that's not the argument. Cruelty. That's a deflection. What you did there. It would be cruel, like, yes, okay. but you don't need to. That's what I'm saying, in my morals. Exactly. So you're, everyone's morals definition yeah. is different. You don't need to cut these animals' heads off either. But to eat. To I, I want to eat muffin. You what's don't need to. What's though? your problem with that? You don't need to, though. You don't need you to eat these animals. You don't need something that's already dead. You don't know that you pay for those animals to be killed by, via the supply and demand chain. That's how supply and demand works. You pay for that animal to be abused and tortured. That's why I'm calling you an animal abuser when you pay for them. But say I, say I stop today, do you think that helps on the wide scale? That's a practical issue. In principle, do you agree that this is animal cruelty that you're supporting? If they're pa in pain before they die, then yes, it's animal cruelty. I just said, if I cut Muffin's head off without her being in pain, uh, him being in pain, would that be animal but cruelty? You, you said to, yes. No, it's, also, it's, no. it's not one It's not whether it's I need to, things. whether I want to, whether I have to. It's whether I, if but I do me, it. it is, in my moral values, it is. That's what I'm saying. Your morals are so, different okay. to everyone else's. So if, if I need to eat Muffin... You're, yeah, if, if I you need can't to get anything else and you need to eat muffin, it's not cruel say, to cut their head off. No, I would say if you're in the like the forest okay. and you have to eat muffin, and there's nothing okay. else to eat. Then I would say no, you do what you did to survive. So what are you? you so what forest are you in? What what forest are you in right now? No, I'm saying right now, no, you wouldn't need to. But if you needed to. Okay, so why are you eating these animals if you don't need to? I do. I don't just eat. I don't need animals, diet. brother. That's fine. You can do what you want. I don't need animals. So what are you talking about? I'm a vegan, I've been vegan for six years. So you're saying I need to eat animals? No, I'm not saying you personally need to eat animals. So why do you need to? Because my lifestyle, I need it, that. Because I can't just go eat and eat four plates oh, really? every meal. No, that's bullshit. You, don't, you don't need to? Meat is calorically dense. I can do that straight away, just eat that, done. But well, Plant-based meats are the same macronutrient profile as meat, basically. But you're not getting calorically dense bit. You are. Nuts and seeds and avocados and, and plant-based mock, mock meats. Have you even tracked your calories as a plant-based uh, athlete? No, I've done I've it for years. No, I've athlete, no. Well, exactly. So what are you talking about? It's easy to do. But it's calorically... It is calorically... It's science, you can't even deny it's you're more justifying a, You're justifying dense. animal cruelty because you don't want to eat a little bit more food? It's you, not a little bit more food, though. It's a lot less calorically dense. No, it's not. It is. It's not. That's ridiculous. But do you think, let's just say you're right, yeah. you had to eat a little bit more food, which, which is yeah. ridiculous. You can have a plate full of food like that, which is a yeah. thousand calories. What do you need, three to four thousand calories? Yeah, something like that, yeah. Okay, you can have a bowl of oatmeal with nuts and with fruit, dried fruit and with maple syrup on top, and that would be a thousand calories. And then you could have a plate of food with, uh, you know, some uh, pasta with some uh, cashew nut sauce, and you can increase the calories very easily. Um, you can have a big thick shake with peanut butter and protein powder. What? Um, vegan you agree pro those vegan protein foods are expensive as well. Not more necessarily. Expensive. So you don't think in first world countries meat is more sorry less expensive than a healthy diet of like veggies things like that. You don't think that at the all. The cheapest food in the supermarkets are your uh, pantry items like your chickpeas and your beans and your lentils and your rice and your your, your nuts and seeds. Are, you only use them sparingly, but you nuts know, can be quite expensive. Nuts can, yeah, but nuts you can use you only have a handful a day, but but. You know, it's eight bucks a packet or whatever you use a handful a day, whatever. Yeah. I'm saying the cheapest foods in the supermarket are your plant-based foods. Um, but it's, it's priced to how calorically dense they are. I don't give a shit about that in the face of this. What we, you, we're, arguing, we're arguing some economical difference in a couple of bucks compared to this injustice here. You don't give a shit about these animals being tortured and killed. No, You're saying, I, tortured, tortured. They are, tortured isn't killing, torture is This is, is torture. Pain. This is torture. How do you think they get to the slaughterhouse? How do you think they are born and what, what, where do they live? Have you seen them suffering in these places? Have you seen them get put into these boxes, these chick chickens? This is all torture. They cut their beaks off when they're, so they don't peck each other in confinement. They will snip you, their tails off, the pig, piglet's tails you say off. If I just let them roam and they're on a free field, that wouldn't be torture if I didn't do this stuff before they got killed. When they go into that slaughterhouse. But right? say I did it personally. If I, if I all the way, they had an awesome life, yeah. and then I killed them at the very end, is that torture? It's not just the torture, it's the enslavement, it's the torture, it's the murder. I don't make them do anything. Enslavement is more, I force you to do this. I didn't force them to... You force them down the kill floor and stab a knife into their throat. But that's not torture. I said it's more than just torture. It's torture. But it's, it's not... To there we go. So you agree it's not torture then? It's not just torture, my argument. These animals are all tortured. So killing okay. is torture. I it's killing torture. Killing like is instant, murder. Instant, yes, that's murder, not okay. torture. So if you murder someone, that's still not vegan. Yeah, it's still, it's still bad. I'm still arguing against someone murdering you or torturing you and then murdering you or enslaving you and not murdering you. They're all bad. I'm saying all of these points um, make up my argument. 
not just one, not just, okay, I won't torture them. I'm saying you're stabbing him in the throat still fucking bad, isn't it? Like, but it's, I'm saying out of, out is not torture. You're, not all the time. No. Not all the time. But you, ta you, you explain to me the, the meat that you get, right? When you go into the supermarket, yeah, you, yeah. you tell me one animal that's not tortured. Just to, just to focus on the torture argument. You don't know. That's what I'm saying. You don't know. Okay. Well, well you tell me an animal that's not tortured. We'll talk about them. We don't know each and every animal, each different farm. I do. It's not like one farm. I do. And they're all under one farm. You've I do. Been to every farm. Well, well try me. Australia, every farm in the world. Well, I've got my footage. Where's yours? <laughs> you were the one who came here. I've got more. I've got more evidence than you do. Well, yeah. You just came here and you get random people and you've already got your evidence with you. We, well, don't, we, we we've don't got thousands of hours of this. That's um, fine. And. and well, let's just talk about cows. They have the, they have debudding happen. You know where they cut their horns off. I've never had. I've never. No, it's a standard know that, in the yeah. dairy industry. They cut their horns off. Okay, yeah. They, they yeah. burn. They singe it with a hot iron. Okay. They, what, what else you want to talk? Piglets. They had their tails snipped off. They had their testicles ripped out without anesthetic, the, and they had the, their teeth the cut down. Being off is actually so they don't get. Um, I don't care. Bacteria and stuff. No, it's because they so don't. It's for them. It's so they don't it's bite for them. them. It's no, a medical it's practice. It's for the farmer. So they don't bite themselves in confinement and cause problems in there. So, so when I, because I've done this before, I put a ring around uh, a sheep's tail, right? It's torture. But it's so they don't get bacteria and die. Oh, when, when you're cutting off fly strike and that, okay. Why have you got these sheep to begin with? But there you go, you're, you're, you're deflecting now. It's, no, is, that, no, is that torture? No, I'm not if deflecting. I'm doing it for medical practice. Answer the question. If it's, is it in the animal's best interest? Are you exploiting that animal for their meat? But it is in their best interest. They're going to die. If they don't, it will potentially uh, do you, okay, die. Okay, I want to know if you have a sanctuary or not, or you're, you're, you're breeding this animal to kill them. No, I don't have a sanctuary. So what are, they for, what are these animals for? Yes, for that. For, for, for your eating. best interest? Yes. So it's not for the animal's eating best interest. Eating is in everyone's best interest. No. Yes so, no. so what I'm saying is, these practices they're doing to animals are for the farmer's best interest, so they can sell their product. Okay? It's not for the animal's breast interest. In sanctuaries, when they give sheep, uh, sheep a haircut, mm. you know, so they don't get fly strike. Does everyone do things for someone else's best interest. I didn't say that. But in these farms, when they torture these animals, it's in the farmer's best interest. So they can keep them in confinement. So you're saying they shouldn't do that to their tails, if, even if they're gonna die? I'm saying they shouldn't be exploiting them and, and treating them cruelly for a reason that is unjustifiable to begin with. Unjustifiable to you? It's unjustifiable. But then why is, is the majority of the world eating meat and it's justified for them, but not to you? Because they haven't seen all this shit, dude. Now you telling me I've that I've seen this before, then I haven't changed my opinion. So you're saying every person, if they saw this, they would you change don't their care. Opinion. You're you don't care. You're happy to be an animal abuser. A lot of people are not happy to do that. I'm not. That's and that's why you're a vegan. So it's everyone's choice. Yeah, you, it's your choice to be yeah. an animal abuser. That's what I'm saying. But your opinion is that I'm an animal abuser. No, it's a fact. It's not everyone else's opinion. Well, it's not an opinion. This is objectively true. That cow is a downer. Okay, they look. They're chucking her in a in a truck to be slaughtered and turned into a burger. When you pay for animal products. You're making a vote. Yeah, yeah. Abuse those animals for me. Torture those animals for me. Chuck them in a gas chamber for me. Stab them in the throat for me and chop them up for me. Who's the animal abuser? The vegan or the person who pays for this? Neither. Well, you know. But you, you have to consider yourself an animal abuser to be an animal abuser. I would say the people who aren't conscious of this, they're not morally culpable. So you As you are, you're if conscious. You, if you saw most of the world, this, this exact footage today, you think most of them would go vegan? Um, I don't know. I think that probably 80% of the people here wouldn't want to see this. Now, whether they are too lazy to change or it's too uh, inconvenient for them to change is another thing. But when they look at this, they don't, they're not as comfortable as you, most people. I guarantee you most people, well, I've been doing this for six so years. Think, even if someone's uncomfortable, you still think they're gonna change just because they're uncomfortable? Not necessarily true. Some people can be conscious of this and then still continue to pay for it, but that person would be an animal abuser. But see, that's the thing. Our morally, we're different. Are you understanding? People's morals are different to yours. Not really. Most people are against animal cruelty. Our morals are pretty much the same on animal but cruelty. But your definition of animal cruelty is different. You, Everyone's you, definition of things are different. But you agreed that this is cruel. You sat there and agreed. It's on tape. You agreed this is cruel. Yes, putting an animal in pain for no added benefit. Yes, that's cruel. Your benefit is you're getting their flesh from it. Yeah, but they Which, don't need to put it in pain. If you it's don't need to eat pain, them. But that's completely different. That's I'm the saying that you're paying for them to be in pain and tortured and killed. And enslaved. Yeah, that's what you're paying for. If you deny that, you're denying reality. It's it's a fantasy I'm not, land. I'm paying to eat that. I'm not paying for those other things. In order to eat them, they have to have their head cut off. They have to be enslaved. They have to be mass bred. They have to be kept in confinement, and they have to be, in most cases, tortured, and then in every single case, murdered. 
I would. I don't. They don't need to be tortured. Though. I've had sheep myself. But they need to be murdered. So you're focusing on the torture. Yes, they need to be murdered. Yes. No, I want you to, to talk about each point: enslaved, mass bred, okay, tortured, and murdered. Now, okay, now tortured, no. Enslaved. Well, I guarantee okay. enslavement. Well, no, I've had sheep. I have not harmed them in before their death. No, no, I'm talking about the ones you eat that you don't see. But so you're saying if you, I did it just myself. It's okay. I'm saying you definitely pay for animals to be tortured. You definitely do. It's, it's standard practice to, to torture tortured, animals. Or that's an indirect. So it's, it's a result of paying for the flesh. So I don't pay to, for them to be tortured. You, you just, you're going in, you're like, oh, I want a bit of pork. As a result of you paying for that, animals have been tortured for that. Or murdered. And definitely enslaved, mass bred and murdered, which is all animal cruelty. What do you see as enslaved? Uh, they're, they're held against their will. For, to uh, to basically um, provide their body for someone who owns them. So they're, they're considered property. They have no right, they have no uh, basic fundamental right to their own freedom, okay? So if we were to just release them, what would happen to all of them? No, we don't release them because they are... But what would happen? Do These animals aren't natural. Survive? These animals are not natural. We've selectively bred them in, for our own purpose. That's what I'm saying. You can't release them but now. Natural, if I put a sperm into an egg, Artificially, that's still a natural process. Do you know where these animals come from? Point. These animals come from human selected breeding. They, don't, they won't survive in nature. We've created this freak show. You can't just release them now. That would be unethical. We have to protect them now. I'm saying we created this genetically, mess. but we, we didn't create the genetics. We, we selectively, you know what selective breeding is? Yeah, my yeah, yeah. Friend? you select you, yeah, you select you, yeah. yeah, you put them together, yeah. Okay, we did that. Yes. For, so we can eat their bodies like sadists. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We're eating a sentient beings' bodies. That's sick. Look at them. They're suffering. Sadist. The, well, what's a sadist? We should get the Google definition. Yeah, yeah Google definition. Google definition sadist. Oh, I think it would be apply. Like, sadist is a bit religious, though. In re most religions, oh, okay, well, okay. God allows you to eat meat. I'm Whatever. not religious, but... This is the teeth so snipping. This is the teeth te snipping. This is the tail clipping. This is torture. And when you buy a pork... I, well, I can almost guarantee you're getting that from here. I mean, where else are you getting it? Some, someone's backyard pig that they lived this happy life and they looked after him and they shot him in the skull? Well, no, that's, that's, that that's a fantasy. Happen. These days it doesn't happen. So no. you're agreeing that you're paying for cruelty? I'm agreeing I'm paying for meat and indirectly some farmers, not all farmers, are going to do that. That's not my choice. If I could choose... It is your choice. Choose, well, you don't know, not every person knows where their exact farm comes from. Well, why don't you and find out? Farmer. It's not, it's not... The world doesn't work like when that. When you have a piece of someone's body on the table, that per that person, let's just say I was a person, oh, the piece of their body on the table, was that cruel? I don't know, it's the piece of their body. Let's say I was a piece of muffin, where's muffin? There's a piece of them on the table. Oh, let me have a look at that. Um, Was that cruel? I don't know, it's a piece of their body. They're chopped up into pieces. How, can you, how, how come you can't see that? But the actual death itself, to, in my definition, isn't cruelty because they didn't go through, un of course these okay. ones are, but most, or not most, I can't say that because I don't know the exact statistics, but didn't go through pain. <laughs> most didn't go through pain. Yeah. Well, the evidence is it's out not. there for people to see. So you can make your, you can have your opinion. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to say your opinion is completely false based on all this evidence we have. That's fine. Yeah. And um, let's just put your argument to, to you. So you're looked after right now, you're free range, you're moving around in the environment here, you, you, you have your freedom, you know, I've let you, I've let you roam around. I cut your head off right now and you've got very protein rich arms here, you know, that would feed me for about four days. So, so because you haven't felt it, you have had no prior torture, I've used your body for my own gain when I have a vegan option there. But you've also got other meat source options. So it's, is, it's equally, it is it's just as cruel, it's just as cruel, it's murder and torture, but either way. Whether I choose you or whether I choose muffin or whether I choose a pig, I can always choose plant-based. But it's a choice again. I know, and you're choosing to abuse animals when you don't make the vegan choice. So you're saying everyone has to make that choice? Conscious people who pay for animals to be abused, they're a conscious animal abuser. There's no way around that. If morals are set by the majority of society, they're not. you're the wrong one. That's an appeal to popularity. So who are, who are they set by? You know, you know, human slavery was once legal and, and the majority accepted it, yeah? Didn't live by that back then, but I so. Well, do you know, know much about history? I don't know I that know, much. I know it was slavery existed. I know it yes. was legally sanctioned. Yes, and okay. now it's not. Yeah, but the majority yes. stood by and let it happen. But now it's not. So, so I'm saying the we're not. It's I'm, not the majority anymore. I'm saying so the majority is, doesn't dictate what's moral. Okay. No, we. So if I dictate that it's morally 
like okay. fine, then it is. So it's separate each yeah. and every. Well, I dictate that person. doing whatever I want to anyone I want is moral because that's my set of moral beliefs. That that's, doesn't work. It does. No, it doesn't. So where do moral beliefs come from then? Sorry. Where do moral beliefs come from then? Well, as a, as a society, we agree upon them to protect each other's rights, don't we? We agree upon laws and to protect each other's rights. So it's otherwise it, something like the whole so society. So in society, meat is the majority product. Like where most people eat meat, so then it is moral. I'm saying that we are big fat hypocrites if we desire rights, right, and we deny them so of these our sentient animals. Are wrong. I'm saying when it comes to animals, 100%. Yes. If you pay for them to be abused and killed, you're an animal abuser and your morals are completely you're wrong. You're saying our morals come from society and if our morals are more than yours, like population-wise, people believe in that moral more than yours, then you're saying that's what society is. No, 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 no. I never said that. The, the, you just said what is popular, morals come from society. We agreed upon um, uh, the morals that we adhere to in the law to protect each other's rights, didn't laws, we? You said laws and morals are different things. We they agreed are. upon that they at the start. Yeah. They are different. So morals they are different. with laws. They are different, but we agreed upon the law based on our morality, didn't we? So we have laws protecting us now, but it was, mor would, it was would, morality. I don't think laws are upon morality. No, no, no I agree. they I are. With they that. are when it comes to human rights. If I get a parking ticket, that's morally. Not morally all laws, wrong. but I'm talking about the there laws that. Not all laws. There not all the laws, but the laws that protect our human rights. Human rights. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to use human rights as an example because you might understand that because you can't understand their suffering. I'm saying we have laws that protect our human rights and we agreed upon that based on our moral standard, okay? That's how we set those laws into place. It was morals that influenced the law. The law doesn't influence morals, okay? Now, when it comes to human slavery, it was our, our morals that we agreed on that that was fucking wrong. So we pushed that into laws and there was a big war and they abolished slavery, okay? That was morals that pushed that into law. Why isn't there so, a law so, that... Eating meat Be because is wrong, people like you support animal abuse and don't but think it's, not it's people fun. Like me. Most yeah. people eat meat because they're, they're unaware. They they kept in the dark. So you but don't when think they see this, think when they eat meat, when they, they see they this, like, so you're saying if people eat meat, they don't know that that's from an animal. That's bullshit. Everyone knows here that's fucking from an animal. Does everyone know here that an animal was abused and tortured for their meat? Most meat. people don't think about it. But they still eat meat. A few people do. They still eat meat then. If they eat, uh, and this applies to them as well. Yeah, of course. If yeah. they know about this, these animals suffering here, uh, being hacked up in a slaughterhouse, I'm saying that they're abusing animals too. Uh, so was I. Like, I'm not off the, the majority, hook. Majority, you were saying the majority and the laws are wrong. Then for the morals, the morals are wrong, and, and the they have been wrong. before. Yes. They have been before, so they are now. This is legal. But it's wrong to you. No, That's it's not. Saying. It's not. It is. But they, they okay. Think okay. One sec. One sec. Meat. Who here is against animal cruelty? So, m most most people are against animal cruelty. Yeah, but we're saying eating meat. It's not animal cruelty. We're talking about eating meat right now. Uh, well, cruelty is involved in the process, so you can't avoid why that. Why are they silly meat then? Because they are practicing moral hypocrisy when they do. That's what I'm saying. To you, yes. No, it's actually objectively true. Because if you eat meat, when cruelty was a 100% part of that process, no matter which way you look at it, cutting off someone's head off is cruel, turning him into a steak is cruel, um, and when you pay for that product, you're paying for something that's cruel, and if you're against something that's cruel, you become a hypocrite. If you're against animal cruelty and you pay for animal cruelty, you're a hypocrite. There's no way of going around again, it. And it's about the definition thing again. If I don't think I am, then I'm not. Well, then you're living in a fantasy land, bro. And most people watching won't be on your team because you're not being logical here. It's fine. Yeah. But most people watching are going to eat meat. So then Not necessarily. Are, it doesn't matter if they're on my team about certain things. The overall debate, they're still on my team. Yeah. You know, a lot of they people stood me. there and fought to not uh, abolish slavery back in the day. They used the e economic argument. Oh, Jesus had slaves. They used all these arguments to keep human slaves in place mm. because they didn't want to get rid of human slaves because it was very convenient for them. They gained a lot of benefit from it. And this is the same thing you're doing right now. You're on the wrong side of history right now. You're, you're, you're actually... You're actually going, you're supporting an industry that's uh, abusing animals and killing them. So you, you think most people one day are going to be vegan? 100% evil can't last forever. Most people look at this and don't want to support it. They're not like you. Like you're, you're really a minority when it comes to animal cruelty. So I don't agree with, but isn't the point that you're saying that most people agree that animal cruelty is bad, but they still eat meat. That's the majority. Would you agree? So that, that's my, so that's the majority. Not everyone has made the connection. But the, everyone knows that that is meat. That is an animal. So they still eat it. You're saying everyone knows that that okay. was torture. Do you want to explain to you why? Yes. They've been told lies, like you, you're trying to fabricate here. Like, they're treated humanely. Uh, you, know, you know, they live in, on a grass and they don't even feel it. They fall asleep on a pillow and wake up in a supermarket. They don't see this I animal know, here. I've been told that. that well, well, why do you have this fantasy about where animal products come from? 
I don't have this fantasy. You do. You they think come it, from a farm? I know that. Uh, but you're saying there's no torture in there. There's no cruelty. They, they, you know. I'm not saying everyone. I'm not saying everyone's perfect. I'm saying there no. aren't. Not. Are you saying every single one is ki- like p- putting pain before their death? That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying they're all enslaved and they're all murdered. But everyone knows that. Everyone knows that. Everyone knows that an animal has to be murdered to eat that meat. That would just be, that would be living. You would be surprised. Well. I've been doing this for a long time. Yeah. Okay. When I show this to people, they feel sick. I didn't see that. I didn't. Ever, I never knew this. So they didn't oh. know an animal was needed to create the meat. It sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? That but they are, does they are so far detached from the process that they don't see murder when they grab a chicken burger. It looks like a chicken burger. It doesn't look like a bird. Yes, I would say that that's not good because I, yeah, I didn't pig, know that. If I grabbed a pig here right now and stabbed them in the throat, this pig in the throat, everyone here is going to be screaming bloody murder and then they'll go in there and eat a ham sandwich. Now what's that about? They're detached from the process. That's what I'm saying. So your popularity argument here is, is, is only hinging upon the fact that people are ignorant to the process. They see the meat, they don't see the process. Now to you, it's blatant right now. I'm showing you the abuse and the cruelty and the violence and the blood, right? You're still going to continue to do it. That's your choice. You're choosing to be a, an animal abuser. That's your choice. But most people here haven't seen the blood and the cruelty and the fear and the violence and the death. And when they do, they're going to feel sick when they go grab that steak. They're going to see an animal. They're not going to see a piece. They're still going to eat the steak. They might, or they might not. Fair enough. That's everyone's choice. There's a massive yeah. vegan movement happening all across the world. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I guess we just disagree. We disagree, but when you leave here today, you're not going to be a vegan. You're going to continue to abuse animals through your diet. I'm still going to eat meat. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for the challenge, no mate. Worries. Thanks for the debate. I appreciate it a lot. All good.